Hi guys, Knights here. How's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. As you guys see, I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV. It's Final Fantasy Online. If you did not try it before, I really advise you to try it. I will do more videos in fi about Final Fantasy. It's a really awesome MMORPG. It's nighttime at the moment, so you don't see the beauty of the game. But what's the problem? As you guys now see, I'm really control freak. I need uh, all those layouts and all those huts be placed next to the middle next to my character so i have complete um, uh, control of my cooldowns and complete control of my layouts and of those enemies and as you see guys uh, final fantasy 14 does very good job by this creator you know you can you can customize the whole user interface um like in world of warcraft but in world of warcraft you need those add-ons and everywhere you need to add-ons you don't need add-ons here so as you see now i have complete control about my cooldowns about the position of the enemies and if you do the end game pve content as we used to write in world of warcraft in the end game pvp you really need those add-ons to uh be to have awareness around your surroundings and about your, about your abilities and about your enemies but so what's the problem i spent like two hours setting out this layout like this and i decided to play final fantasy with my all-time subscriber and supporter of the ch channel Metin, and Metin created uh, hi Metin, how's it going? And Metin created the, his character on the Ragnarok server. The problem is that at the time when I wanted to create character on the Ragnarok server, uh, the, the server was full, and I wanted to play the game badly, so I created character on another server, uh, which was not so, which was empty, and uh, I decided to transfer the character lately the problem is is not possible only after 19 days after the creation so now you see guys my new character on the ragnarok server if i load in you will see that it has default layout of the of the hut of the user interface and i don't like it i have two choices now first is to spend another two hours setting up all my cake bindings all my layouts all my hut all my hot bars everything or i can use this simple trick so if you guys want to create another character or if you want to transfer another character and you will see this layout like this and you want to have your layout for the all characters the same use this simple trick so go to windows open your files transfer program i use total commander is awesome uh, go to users go to users then go to your name then go to documents after go to my games and Final Fantasy XIV. Here you will see two file, two folders with uh, large names. These are your character names. These will be not named by your character. So you have to decide which is which by the name the folder was created. So this was created 14 June. The next one was 18 June. So now you see which one is the old character, which one is the new character. All right. So uh, I really advise you to save those. Uh, those folders to copy those folders somewhere so you don't lose them when you accidentally screw up okay so what we're going to do we're going to copy the settings from the old character to the new character so open the old character and inside you will see all those files that contains those key bindings, HUDs and everything. If you want to transfer only key binds, copy only key binds. If you want only HUDs, copy only HUDs. But if you copy everything, n nothing will happen with your character. You will, you are copying only the settings of the character. All right. So now we copy it and I'm going to cut it. So we are back in the character selection screen and uh, as soon as we load into the game, you will guys realize that this character has the same layout that the old character has. You can use this while you are transferring your character, while you are creating your character. And as you see now, this is the layout I spent two hours on the, on the different character. Guys, if this uh, video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and leave me a comment because for the small YouTube channels as mine, it's every subscribe, every like, every dislike, every comment, very important. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye bye. The truth will break your chains, we have the...